Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, March 2nd. Um, today's my long day. It's uh, Monday, and I get up. I work like six days a week. Uh, Monday, I get up like, I don't know, 6 a.m. Um, I have to take my son home to his mom's house, which is like an hour away. Then I drive back to Columbus and uh, go into work at 9. Um, I have to do a whole bunch of stuff during the day, which normally I don't go into work until um, 4 or 5 in the afternoon, but on Mondays, like I said, it's my long day. It's usually about a 14-hour, 16-hour day. So I go in, I do a bunch of extra shit at work, and then I go and do my regular route that I do um, every other day of the week. So, uh, just thought I'd just thought I'd check in, uh, kind of give you guys an idea of what I do day to day. All right, I'll check in later. So I don't know if I uh, told you guys, but I had a 2005 Civic and uh, I had that since 2004 actually when it first came out. And um, you may have seen that like in a lot of my other driving videos and stuff, but uh, <laughs> so I took it in to get routine maintenance done. Uh, I was having a timing belt put on and getting the oil changed and just the general like 100,000 mile maintenance. Well, they, they give it back to me like five hours after they were supposed to be done. Uh, I'm already kind of pissed off, you know what I mean, about that, but I'm like, it's whatever. Uh, uh, so, so I get it, I take it home. I live like a mile from the place I got it fixed at. Uh, I take it home, I eat some food, and I, I'm like, oh, I need to go get gas for tomorrow. So, so I head out, I go to the gas station. Well, I don't quite make it to the gas station, which is a few blocks from my house. My car just broke down out of nowhere. Um, like somebody had to stop and help me push it into a parking lot. Uh, called the place. They're like, "Oh, bring it in. We'll 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 figure out what's wrong with it. We'll make everything right." Okay, I do that. Yeah, it turned out that uh, they destroyed my engine. They put the timing belt on wrong. Um, timing belt slipped off and <laughs> destroyed my engine. So, and it was a good car. It was uh, like 150,000 miles on it. Uh, the body was a little beat up just from uh, me beating it up a little bit. And uh, <laughs> I, I, so I take it. There's nothing they can do for it. I mean, this is like a course of like a week that they were like working on it, and then they finally just deemed it a total loss and they got their insurance company in contact with me and everything and, and they just they totaled out the car um, so anyway um, I don't know playing it smart I guess or at least playing it um, economical I'm really like at a phase of my life where I'm trying to save and like you know get things to upgrade my life like necessities uh, you know, like, we need stuff for the apartment, we need stuff for just life in general, stuff for the kids, you know. And so, what I decided to do with the, the money that they gave me for my car was, uh, rather than go buy another car immediately, have that money be gone, um, I put it to use and I, I used money on the stuff that we needed it for. And, um... I, uh, so what I did, we had this old beater, which is what you see me driving now. It's a 97, what is it? 97 Ford Escort wagon. And, uh, it was my girlfriend's, my fiance's, um, car that she had since college. And, um, she had basically abandoned it. She was like, uh, oh, okay, it's... It, it's on its last leg, um, probably. Uh, it, it wasn't really on its last leg. It's just kind of beat up looking, that's all. Uh, in my opinion, it's got some years left on it. Anyway, so she... Uh, I decided, you know, hey, we've got this car. It runs. I can drive it 
back and forth to work, no problem. You know what I mean? That, it's going to save me a ton of money. And um, I'll drive until the wheels fall off. I don't care. You know? Um, I'm not picky. It gets me from point A to point B. And I'd much rather, you know, have a junky ass car now and have a badass car later. You know, I probably could have got a pretty nice car with the amount of money I got from uh, my car being totaled. But I decided this is the best route. I'm like, we have a car, so why would I go spend money on another car? I'm going to drive this one until it won't drive anymore. Um, you know, put some money in savings, buy some things we need. Um, I don't know. But that is why I'm driving this loud ass tank. What up guys, it's, uh, as you can see, the sun's going down, I've still got about seven hours of work to go, um, I don't know if you know the area or not, but we're in Columbus, and um, I have to drive to Indianapolis, this is something I do six nights a week uh, for my job, I'm a truck driver, um, if you didn't know, I have an earlier video about it, what I do for a living. Um, Anyway, got about seven hours left. Uh, I actually got a little break today. I actually got to go home in the middle of the day just for a couple hours, see the family and everything, and uh, eat some food. Um, I just wanted to real quick, let me see here. I'm gonna give you an idea of uh, like what I, this is pretty much what I normally take for my lunch every day. I usually have a couple sandwiches. I've got a, today I've got like deli meat. It's usually like deli meat. Uh, today it's chicken breast and uh, pepper jack cheese on uh, whole wheat bread. And then, uh, let me see what I got here. Stuff I've been munching on throughout the day. It's usually uh, something that's easy that I can eat while I'm driving. Uh, see, I've got a, I ate these pure protein bars. I took two of these today. Uh, let's see if I can get my wrapper. I got a, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, fiber one bar. Let's see that. I had three of those sandwiches that I was talking about, so I packed those. Um, I have two sandwiches left and a protein bar. I'm um, also when I went home and ate, I ate something there as well. And, uh, it's pretty much my uh, normal lunch that I take with me each day. Uh, a few sandwiches, a couple of protein bars, fiber bar, granola bar, something like that. Uh, that's it. into a long day um, so we started out work I got up at 6 a.m. Um, just now into my work day and uh, about to head home probably watch The Walking Dead uh, might upload some footage tonight uh, the next thing you'll see probably is my workout tomorrow um, obviously today my long work days, I don't work out at all. Um, there's just never enough time to do it. It's usually all day, an all day thing. Like I get up at six, I leave, take my son home, go to work, and then I usually don't come back home until around this time, around midnight or so. Uh, so needless to say, Mondays are a non-lifting day. But the next footage you'll see is probably my upper power day tomorrow so catch you then